It takes about 72 hours, is what the studies are showing. About three days. If you are choosing to create something new and it doesn't come to you easily at first, please do not give up because it takes about at least three days for these antenna to wire. That is because the information is not in here. Just to add to this, how real this is, researchers in Silicon Valley are now building the next generation computer chips and guess what? They're not based on silica. They're based on droplets of water that are purified and very, very specific forms of structured water. And when they started pumping the information into that droplet of water, the water droplet was holding more information than could possibly be explained by the chip itself. And they said, where is the information going? And now they know that the chip based in water is storing information in a field that expands beyond the machine itself. Our identity is not inside our body. Our identity is picked up by protein antennas on the surface of our cells. The reality is our source is from the outside and the signals get picked up by the proteins and then control the cells on the inside. This field provides three functions. It is the container, the field that connects all things. It is the container for everything that happens in our experience. Nothing exists beyond this container. It's the container. It is the bridge between our inner and our outer world, and it is the mirror in our external world for what we claim to believe in our inner world. This is the field. The body is like a television set, and there's a broadcast coming in. Mind is not even in the body. If you get your mind in the outside, there's an opportunity to, uh, at a level to communicate. This is a virtual reality suit. You jump into this suit, you drive it around, the experiences of this suit are sent back to source. That's where we start to recognize your brain activity is not contained in your head. You can use magnetoencephalograph probes outside of your head and you can read your brain activity. So you're broadcasting back to the field. And that's why we can see a sunset. We can taste that chocolate. We can smell that rose. How many of you saw the movie The Matrix? So remember in The Matrix, when they would hook that little gadget to the back of their neck and they would download the programs and learn those things almost immediately. Remember that? The equivalent of that is what we did together in here yesterday. When we choose to make those changes in our lives, what Bruce is saying, you can't do it through your conscious mind. When you create the heart-brain harmony, that coherence, it's called optimum heart-brain coherence, when you've got that 0.1 hertz signal between your heart and your brain, that opens the door to the subconscious. That's the equivalent of plugging that cable in right at the, at the base of, of your skull. And it's at that place where you insert the new beliefs, the new thoughts, the new ideas, the new ways of thinking. That is you downloading that, that new information very, very quickly. We're not living our lives, we're living the lives of programs. And if you don't like the program, the new biology is the one that says you can rewrite it. And if you rewrite it to make your creation not the one you bought as the creation, you will manifest heaven on earth. You will wake up every day with the glory of being in the most spectacular planet and the ability to create life. So you know when you, when you begin learning a foreign language, the words sometimes, uh, they seem awkward. You learn phonetically and you say the, the words but they don't really mean much. And all of a sudden you wake up one morning and, and like you're speaking Spanish or you're speaking Tibetan or you're speaking French or whatever it is. You know how that happens. All of a sudden it's like almost overnight and you say, well, well what happened? Well, here's what the science is now telling us. All possibilities exist as information in the field. The information is not in the cells. What we do in the cells is we grow, and Bruce, it's exactly the term that I use, what are called soft antenna. So the, the way that the neurons wire and fire create the antenna that tune to the place in the field where that information lives. It is the very act, the act of you striving to become more in one moment than you were in the last moment. It's the act of you reaching 
deep within yourself to, to grasp a new way of thinking. So a, a new language or a new song on a, a guitar, a piano, or a new book to write, or a new title, or new poetry, or new sculpture, new art, whatever it is, that act is the impetus for the neurons to wire together to create the antenna that reach into the field where that information lives that you are asking to have access to. But the thing is, it doesn't happen spontaneously. It takes about 72 hours is what the studies are showing. About three days. So it takes about three days for these neurons to hook up, to reach out and, and firmly establish the connection with another like neuron so that they're forming the antenna that tune to the place in the field where everything that you desire to understand or know or create or perform, it already exists. If you are choosing to create something new and it doesn't come to you easily at first, please do not give up because it takes about at least three days for these antenna to wire. That is because the information is not in here. It is in the field and that could not happen if these ideas were not correct. So I'm showing you it's going beyond theory. We have to recognize something very important and that is only 5% of the day are you operating from your conscious creative mind and 95% of the day you're operating from subconscious programs. Uh, but then I say, well, what would happen if you stopped playing the program? And the answer is so wonderful because all of you have taken that red pill at some point, and that was when you fell deeply in love with somebody. And I say, what was happening when you fell deeply in love? And I say, for the first time in your life, you stopped thinking because everything you wanted is now right in front of your face. And when you stop thinking, and you become what is called mindful, then you are in absolute control. I say, look, you, your life could suck every day until you met this person and then heaven. And 24 hours later, you can experience heaven. And what was the difference? You stopped thinking and started being present. And so it becomes important if you want to transform, then you stay present and you repeat what you like and repetition is what will reprogram your subconscious. So as long as you stop the old talk, put in what you want, and repeat what you want, you have an opportunity to rewrite any program in your life. The two minds, conscious and subconscious, have different functions. Conscious mind is creative, primarily. Subconscious mind is habitual, primarily. The problem is subconscious mind is the habit mind. And habits do not change easily for great benefit. For example, when did you learn how to walk? Most everyone have learned how to walk before too. Did you have to relearn how to walk? Hopefully not. I say, well, you could be 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 plus years and you're still using the habit program. So the emphasis on subconscious is not to change easily because if it does, then habits don't exist. So the issue is, then how can you change the subconscious mind? And there are two fundamental ways because the first, these are natural ways. How did you learn in the first seven years? Hypnosis. So auto hypnosis is a way of putting in a new program and transforming your life. Uh, after age seven, how did you uh, uh, learn after age seven? Repetition. You repeat it. You made it habitual. Uh, a habit out of, out, of, out of the thing that you wanted. And so uh, this is where the fake it till you make it part comes in. But the issue about it is you have to recognize the biggest error that we have is that we think that if our conscious mind just became aware of something, that our subconscious mind has that information. Absolutely not. So if you want to transform and you want to get out of the old program, just educating the conscious mind will not do that. You have to do some exercise, some process, something. Uh, energy psychology is a new uh, way of, of, of changing beliefs as well, very rapidly. But the moment you understand how you can train the subconscious is the moment you are free because then you become the programmer of your own life.